Okay, so hopefully by now you've finished the first truth for your pursuit of God. You've watched some videos, you've been investigating, and you're moving forward. Now let's go back to our picture to see where we are on the journey. Truth number one is this, that we start by trusting Jesus. Hopefully you've already done that, whether it was just recently or years ago. And here's the second truth. The second thing we have to understand to be pursuers of God is Christians, we live to honor God. See, becoming a Christian does more than just free us from our sins. It does more than just give us heaven to look forward to. It actually frees us to live a new kind of life, even right here on earth. 2 Corinthians 5 says it like this, This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone, a new life has begun. That's the new truth about anyone who has started by trusting in Jesus. And so it says this about this new way we should look at our lives. It says whether we're here in this body or away from this body, in other words, whether we're here on earth or whether we're in heaven, our goal is to please him. As Christians, we live to honor God. That's truth number two. Now, here are three important truths that we need to understand for honoring God. And there are more videos in this playlist if you want to learn more about this. The first one is the Bible guides us. The second one is the Spirit leads us. And the third one is that other believers help us. Now, let's take a look at this first one. The Bible guides us. 2 Timothy 3 says this, All Scripture, talking about the Bible, is inspired by God, and it's useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what's wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong, and it teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip His people to do every good work. This is what the Bible does for us. It's given to us by God, and it guides us into His truth. If we didn't have the Bible, we wouldn't know how to honor God. We don't just honor God by following our nose or following our hearts. We honor God because His Word shows us what honors Him and what pleases Him. And that's why it's important for us to read the Bible and understand the Bible. And the second tool we have for honoring God is the Spirit. The Spirit leads us. Back in the Old Testament, Ezekiel 36 says this, God speaking, he said, I will give you a new heart. I will put a new spirit in you. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and give you a tender, responsive heart. And I will put my spirit in you so that you will follow my decrees and be careful to obey my regulations. See, here's the good news. It's not just the Bible that we have to guide us, but the Holy Spirit, God himself, is in each one of us. And this verse is saying that the spirit is moving us to be obedient. So we're not just obedient because of our own willpower, but we're obedient because the Spirit helps us. God himself is in us, helping us to honor God. Ephesians 1 says that when you believed in Christ, he identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit whom he promised long ago. See, this is saying that when you started by trusting in Jesus at that moment, the Spirit of God came into you to empower you and to strengthen you and to help you to live in a way that honors God. So we have the Bible and we have the Spirit. And the last thing is that we have other believers to help us. Galatians 6 says this, Dear brothers and sisters, if another believer is overcome by some sin, you who are godly should gently and humbly help that person back onto the right path. And be careful not to fall into the same temptation yourself. Share each other's burdens, and in this way you obey the law of Christ. So this verse, along with many others like it, tell us that we don't just have the Bible and the Holy Spirit, but God has given us other believers to help us stay on the right path. Now, here's one of the ways that that happens. Ephesians 4 says, We will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ. See, this is the way we learn to honor God, is we speak the truth in love to one another, that as a Christian, you should allow other people to speak the truth to you. And when we do this, we can learn how to honor God together. That's why Hebrews 10 says, And let's not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but let's encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. So all of these things are important for honoring God. The Bible guides us, the Spirit leads us, and other believers help us. And you can check out some more videos in our library if you want to learn more about any of those things. But let's end with this. One practical way to honor God as a new believer is to get baptized. So if you've put your faith in Jesus but you've never been baptized, you should be sure to do that because God's Word teaches us that we should do that. Now check out some of the videos on baptism in our library if you have more questions about that. But for right now, why don't you hit pause and talk about it, and we'll see you in the next video.